Hey, here we are. It's Friday, the end of another week. Congratulations, you made it. You made it. Weekend to follow. Got a giveaway here I'm going to talk about a little while later. Big topic as always on Friday. Here it is. You're either getting ready to make the transition to middle school and you're thinking, where do, where am I going to apply? Where am I going to go? What's going to be best for my child next year? And your child's thinking the same thing. What's going to be best? Or you're in middle school and you're already thinking about high school. Which one should I go to? Where do I go? What do I need to think about? So either case, I've got a few ideas, a few tips to share with you that will help you hone in on exactly what it is that you're really looking for in a middle school or high school. Number one, communication. How does that communication flow between the school and the parents? How are you going to know? Find the principal's email address and send one. And then clock how long it takes to get a response. In your email, you're simply saying, hey, I'm a parent of so-and-so, we're thinking about applying to the school next year, or we're thinking about coming next year. Just love to connect with you, okay? Any principal that is gonna be avid about communicating with parents is gonna get back to you in a few days or less, okay? If weeks go by, that's kind of a sign of, oh, I'm not really sure that this might be a good place for my child, because in the future, you may need to have that communication with the principal, and you're going to know that they're going to get back to you in a timely manner. So that's key piece number one. The other set of communication is what happens on the front lines. Real easy way to find out. Go to the school that you're thinking about applying to, or schools, okay? And right there in the front office. Who are those people that greet you? What type of communication and interaction do you have there? Again, the message is simple. Just wanted to stop by and say hello and introduce myself. If you get that warm, fuzzy feeling like, hmm, this might be a good fit for me, that's something to keep in mind, okay? If you're immediately turned away, again, something to keep in mind. I really value the communication piece. Number two thing that you need to be looking for is peer group. Your child needs to have at least a small group of friends five to seven kids that they know and can get along with. And then the peer group can grow from there. But you've got to send them into some place where they have a few friends, unless your child is an extreme extrovert and makes friends anywhere they go. You've got to be able to look at your child and decide what's going to be best in that case. But for most kids, a small peer group, it helps. All right? How do you know? Simply ask your child, where are people thinking about going next year? You want to know that they're going to have at least a couple of friends when they get there. Okay. Third thing academic and extracurricular opportunity. Test scores, folks, that's only one piece of the pie. Okay, So don't get blown away by eh, 90% of the people at the school are in the 95th percentile. It's only one indication. It's only one indication of a school's success. So don't get caught up in test scores. How do you know? Go to the website. Look at the different course opportunities. Call and talk with the guidance counselor. Ask them about honors gate level classes if that's what your child is into. Okay, what you're doing is you're looking for different opportunities. If the opportunities exist, that's awesome. Okay, because you want there to be opportunities. Whether or not your child is in honors or gay classes the first year or two, it doesn't really matter. But there needs to be the opportunity there. Okay, and you want to know something about the teachers that are there. Again, just ask. You'll get all the information that you need, either with the website or just with a simple phone call or email. Okay, extracurricular opportunity. Is your child into sports? Are they into drama? Here's what you need to do. Go and attend an event. Okay? If they're big into football, go to one of the football games. Okay? If they're big into baseball, same thing. If they're into drama, if they're into band, go and attend one of the events. That's where you really get a good sense of what's going to be happening for your child the following year. Now, you notice, in none of these tips did I say go and attend the school tour. Why? Because you're only going to see the very best of what they want to show you on the school tour. You're not going to get a true sense of what the school is about. So if you're going to do the tour, fine. Do it last. Do it after you've been to the front office. Do it after you've talked to your child about the peer group. Do it after you've attended the school event where you have a much better idea of the, the way things are really working at the school. Then go to the school tour and see if that matches up with what you've experienced so far. It's a big decision to make. Yes, do your research. Sit down and have a conversation with your child. You won't be disappointed. All right. Have a wonderful weekend. Oh, the giveaway. Here it is, folks. And yes, it is written backwards. The title of this book is Change the Way You See Everything, Asset-Based Thinking. I couldn't recommend this book more than any others. Get a charge out of conflict. That's just one of the chapters. Some real positive action steps from moving forward, changing your perception, just real positive ways of looking at what's happening with you and your child. 
This is yours. Nice. Hard back. I'm going to send it to the first person that I get an email from that says, hey, I'd love to have that book. Would you send it to me? It's as easy as that. Send me an email. Have a wonderful weekend. I hope to see you next time around. Take care.